worst, the worst, bitch. All right, how we feeling? Okay, I was like, y'all sound kind of cool. Let's get some more energy. How we feeling? All right, um, I am Angela Lang, and I am the new executive director of Block, Black Leaders Organizing for Communities. And we can get into all the reasons why all of this and the, the, the tax scam is awful for working people. But I wanna take a second um, for folks that don't know me to tell a little bit about my story. So I was born and raised in the heart of Milwaukee, grew up right down the street on 32nd in Wisconsin, across the street from Marquette High School to a single parent mother who, when I was 12, was diagnosed with terminal cancer. And being a single mom with a terminal illness with a kid was very daunting for her, right? And so there were times that she, every Tuesday, she'd go over to Sinai and do her chemotherapy treatment. And the next day, because she had to work, she would go to work. She had no downtime. And I would urge her to take time off. I got jobs as a, as a teenager to help provide but at the same time, she's like, Angela, Bill still got to get paid whether I'm sick or not. I still got to provide for you. I still have a kid whether I'm sick or not. And so I think about that a lot. Specifically, I did a lot of work when I was at SEIU for the Fight for 15. And my mom's story, unfortunately, was not unique. And to hear about all these tax cuts for the rich is a slap not only to my face, but to my mother's face. Right, And I think about the times that she didn't have a union, she didn't have these protections, she had to do what she had to do to survive. How many of us had to work multiple jobs in order to survive? I know I did. All through college, growing up to help provide for my mom, two, three. I've heard some people that sometimes had to work four jobs and have children. And so what does it look like to have these, these tax plans that are for rich billionaires that don't look like me, right? And the fact that we have hard working people, but yet there's constantly attacks on the working class and on the poor. We're being criminalized essentially for being poor. And what does it look like to cut vital services? In some cases that would have helped my mother in order to provide tax breaks and to line the pockets of the rich. I don't know about you, but I'm not here for it. Are y'all here for it? No. Is it right? No. So I'm happy to stand here today with my brothers and sisters to continue talking about this message that sometimes people don't understand, it's all in the weeds, but this is how it directly impacts people on a day-to-day -day basis, right? And the fact that people at the top are getting comfy. While the people that are working multiple jobs day to day, struggling to make ends meet, people of color, women, are constantly struggling. So I urge you all to continue to keep talking about this issue, making sure that we're intersectional with talking about this issue and how it relates to women and mothers and people of color, and making sure that we're continuing to push back every aspect of this awful, awful tax plan but also to push back at every amount and every issue that this current administration is putting forth. So I thank you all for being here and I'm happy to be here again for the second time. Thank you. Hello everyone. Brothers and sisters, we're here because we are in a crisis. That's the reality. The rich are getting richer and the poor are getting poorer. And not only that, but we're criminalizing the poor. And we're making sure that poor people are in jail and that they are working for even less money than what they were working for outside of the jails. And so we are here because we need to make people aware that of this scam, okay? And, um, and something that Angela touched on is healthcare. 13 million people will lose their health care because of this tax scam. And one of the hopes that we have this year is that it's 2018 and it's election year. And it is time for us to get rid of 
all of these Republicans and corporate Democrats that are selling the American people. So let's look at the facts. Paul Ryan, or as I like to call him, Polnokio, <laughs> except that his nose doesn't grow when he lies. His bank account does. He got $500,000, half a million dollars to pass this tax scam. And I don't know how he can sleep at night. He retired and he can give himself the luxury of retiring while taking away millions of dollars, billions of dollars from the budget that would actually help for social security for people who need to retire in the future. So I don't know how he can sleep at night. Now, 30 Republicans are retiring this year. That's a huge advantage for us. That's a huge advantage. So what do I ask from you? I ask that we knock on doors, make phone calls, and do whatever it takes so that we can take over the House, take over the Senate, and in 2020, we get rid of Donald Trump. Thank you very much. Subscribe, bitch.